One thing I often like to do is to take myself on solo dates into Shanghai city centre. My first stop was the Shanghai Foreign Bookstore, which sorry I didn't film much for, but I got some beautiful holiday reads. My next stop was Xin Tiandi to take myself for a nice lunch. I went to Il Titoro, which is a wonderful Italian restaurant, and because I went on a weekday, they had some brilliant deals where I got my whole meal for around 82 RMB. So this is my book haul. I got another notebook like I got last time. It's just the paper is so smooth. It's beautiful. I also got Love on the Brain by Ali Hazelwood. I've read some of her other books and loved them. And I saw this. I had to get it. I think her science talk is very good. Book Lovers. Again, I saw this one on TikTok and everybody said it was their best read of 2022. So... Maybe I'll take this on holiday with us. And The Awakening by Nora Roberts. Now, this is her first one in this new series. I think it's some kind of fantasy series. I used to read her crime stuff when I was younger and really enjoyed it. So, not bad. I look forward to reading them. Shanghai is Cages. This one is the one in Huangpu which opened just last year and isn't as big as Jing'an but has the same food and same activities. Cages is a western style sports bar and they play the games on the big screens. You can play indoor baseball, sometimes they have indoor arenas, there are darts, pool, snooker, whatever you want they've got it. The food is a little bit more expensive than other places in Shanghai, but they are the best nachos I have ever had. Good morning uh, from a very sunny and slightly warm January morning. We are going to Shuigo today, which is a Chinese traditional hot springs. Um, it's quite like a spa and it's one of the more expensive ones in the city. This one is near Hongzhou Airport. Um, and we went around this time last year and there was so much ice cream, it was wonderful. Um, I'm not sure how much I'll be able to film because they are naked hot springs. So I definitely won't be filming anything from that part of it because we will be naked. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Once you enter the hot spring and put in your details, you will get a number for a locker. They will then put your shoes in the locker, you get a little wristband, and then you go into the naked hot springs. So this place, when you get out, they give you pyjamas, um, and you can dry your hair and put face cream on and things like that. Alright, hey, Paul, I'm so hungry. What did you eat? Like, four different types of fruits. Uh, I'm gonna go get some fruit in a minute. I want some. All the fruit is complimentary. There is so much choice and no limit on how much you can have. So 
So you get unlimited Haagen Dazs. These ones are Haagen Dazs. I have banana, strawberry, and chocolate. And then this chocolate one. But Mew wants this one. Thank you. Yeah. Or the pink chili. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Dry squid. Dry squid? Yeah. Of course. <laughs> The hot spring also have an open supermarket of drinks where all the drinks are free. A whole coconut! A whole coconut! Coconut! How's your mom? It's okay. <laughs> granite drink because all the drinks are free it is very sweet it's very sweet and inside it's almost like a jelly you can see the seeds are suspended sorry the video quality is awful because it's so dark in here <laughs> mm. it's almost like a jelly I'm not 100% sure how to work the TV because it's technically Chinese New Year season, um, it's very busy here today. We went this time last year, but it definitely wasn't as busy as this, um, which means it's quite hard to find a little room. Um, they have smaller ones, and they also have bigger ones on like party rooms, um, but everyone will come with a TV where you can play games. Um, there's also a game area where you pay, I think it's like 100 RMB for a couple of hours or something, um, where you can play Xbox, um, we did that last time but today is a bit too busy and yeah it's just really nice it's unlimited fruit and ice cream and the ice cream is hark and dust so it's pretty good ice cream they have a restaurant um, and some other bits like that it's very hot in here very hot it is 24 hours I believe and so some people choose to stay here instead of staying in a hotel um, because some of the rooms are very nice you can turn the lights off it's quite peaceful, um, although I think it's probably quite noisy now because lots of people around here are watching movies. Um, but I mean, we both almost just fell asleep. Uh, it's very peaceful. You could definitely spend a whole evening, a whole night just relaxing here and then you can have a bath and a shower in the morning in the hot springs. At the end of the week, Mew and I went to a new local Korean barbecue restaurant. Although I can't remember the name, the food was delicious. And since Korean barbecue is my favorite food, I couldn't not include it in today's vlog. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. See you next time.